So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth WebSockets tutorial in which we're gonna implement how you can send and receive messages from the data um, received on the server, right? So what happens right now is that just the client is sending data somewhere in the dark. The server isn't getting any of those or actually not replying at all as well. So let's add some events so that we can just listen to what user is saying to the server on the WebSocket. So we have already created our server. We just need to implement some methods to do that. So we're going to say s.on connection and it will just fire up if the connection was successful and you can just pass in a function here or you know you just you can just write here something like handle connection and it will just do good but I'm just making an anonymous function call here and uh, what this would do is it would accept another one let's just say this is my websocket and then websocket dot on message now this one is interesting because this one would fire up whenever the user from the client side sends a message to the server right so this would be a function and this would obviously contain a message and for now what I want to do is just console log received message right and that should be a basic program okay so now if I run this node and index.js and if I reload the browser here hit OK the networks I can see that the client sent hey there to the server and we have got hey there on the server as well right so that was simple now what about if you want to send user the reply right so what you can do is right here you can say that if message equals hello then what I want to do is websocket.send hey there from the server right and uh, let's just make a bit of modification to the code let's just change this to or let me just create a button right here which just says send hello and what I can do is I can say document dot query selector button quick fix on click is a function which says that uh, sock dot send hello right and uh, let me just get rid of this alert it kind of bugs me so okay just restart the server we can just use another client just like nodemon or something to make life easy so we can just make use of that but anyways now the websocket is connected and uh, we received hey there already so if I send hello we get hey there from the server right so this one the white one is the response from the server right and it shows me the length and the time so it's just kind of four milliseconds delay right so the execution in this line and this line was four milliseconds pretty cool right so that is how pretty much you create a very basic implementation of a client server websocket system and in the upcoming tutorials we're gonna do something more interesting with this fun functionality so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick